Hi, welcome to Biostock. Chordate Medical's Kinetic Oscillation Stimulation Method is an effective treatment for non-allergic rhinitis as well as migraine. A clinical study published last month suggests the treatment can work in cases of allergic rhinitis as well. Joining us via link from his office in Rome in Italy to tell us more is the lead investigator of the study, Professor Lino Di Rienzo Businco. Welcome, Professor. Welcome to you. It's a pleasure to be together. Um, well, I'd like to start out briefly uh, discussing the general aspects of rhinitis. What are the differences between rhinitis and non-allergic rhinitis? Yes, rhinitis uh, is the inflammation condition of the uh, nasal cavities, um, especially focused on the turbinates, the delicate uh, filter uh, which protect all the airway from the pollution, from the allergens and uh, from virus. So the main dif um, uh, uh, difference with uh, non-allergic rhinitis is uh, that uh, allergic rhinitis um, act against an allergen, uh, house, dust mite, uh, uh, some pollens. And so it's very specific to a single NMI. Instead, the non-allergic rhinitis is an inflammation due to a huge condition, humidity uh, change in uh, temperature and uh, wind. And so it's very uh, specific, very diffuse, also uh, uh, against uh, some scent. Uh, profound, so it's, it's a very common to have an overlap of a condition in allergic patients with as an hyper responsiveness to uh, other trigger stimulus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Professor, for that explanation. Uh, next, I wanted to ask you what are the current treatments for both allergic and non allergic rhinitis, and what, why is there a need for alternative treatments? Yes, uh, uh, currently the uh, available treatment are nasal spray, most of all steroid spray, and uh, antihistamine drugs uh, uh, to fight the nasal secretion and the uh, hyperresponsiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also uh, quite a lot of uh, um, drug uh, to uh, swallow for general purpose with uh, quite uh, big uh, side effects on the whole body. That's why uh, in uh, this uh, type of patients, uh, uh, treatment, current treatment are not always effective in uh, uh, fight and control the symptoms as nasal congestion due to the enlargement of the turbinates, nasal secretion, the rhinorrhea with uh, mucus, uh, uh, also thick mucus with uh, pus, so sovra, super infection with <laughs> or virus, sneezing, itching, uh, all symptoms uh, uh, which affect the quality of life and the capability to work in a very strong way. Of course. And uh, so this brings me to kinetic oscillation stimulation. Could you briefly describe what this is and how it works? Yes, kinetic oscillation stimulation was introduced in the market to control the new neurogenic component of the rhinitis and uh, it acts as a sort of massage of uh, the internal nasal mucosa uh, stimulating the local autonomic nervous system that uh, represent the predisposing ultrastructural factor able to maintain the inflammation and so to affect and uh, to reduce the uh, nasal function. This uh, stimulation is a non-surgical procedure. This is crucial to understand and uh, to do uh, to not do the mistake to uh, think uh, as a surgical procedure for the nose. So it's very patient-friendly and most of all is very well accepted also by the allergologists, by the ped pediatricians, by the general practitioner, and also by uh, otorhinolaryngology because it's a uh, a, a complementary treatment to uh, the mass, the mass of uh, treatment available in the market now, with a very, very uh, high compliance uh, uh, from the patient because of the absence of uh, pain. Thank you, Professor. So, 
um, looking at the study that you recently published in allergic rhinitis with uh, KOS, what are the key takeaways from this publication? Key takeaways is the uh, capability of uh, kinetic oscillating uh, stimulation to complete the effectiveness of the standard medical care for allergic rhinitis with uh, um, a very effective uh, non-invasive and so with very high compliance from the patient treatment. Uh, against uh, nasal obstruction, uh, rhinorrhea, nasal secretion, itching, sneezing are uh, very uh, better control uh, when adding uh, effectiveness treatment for neurogenic inflammation with uh, always is not uh, well controlled in uh, the nasal symptom in this special group of patients affected with, by moderate severe allergic, allergic rhinitis. And so uh, the um, innovative concept is that uh, COS acts not only in allergic patients, but even in allergic patients in an effective way to better um, control and uh, uh, and uh, improve the efficiency of the standard medical treatment alone, nasal spray, steroid, antihistamine, and uh, perhaps it's useful to reduce the need of this uh, medication and also their side effect, always possible. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you, you mentioned the current treatments like nasal sprays uh, and steroids. In the study, you use KOS together with medication. And my last question for you is, do you see a point where KOS could be used on its own as a monotherapy, let's say, uh, or will it always have to be used together with medication? Exactly. This uh, will be our uh, next uh, uh, research uh, project to assess if uh, a cause uh, would be uh, um, effective alone in the control um, in the control of symptoms of allergic rhinitis. But when medical treatment, anti antihistamines, steroids, and most of all specific uh, desensitizing uh, immunotherapy that I remember uh, is the best, uh, the gold standard of the treatment for allergic uh, disease, uh, are not sufficient to resolve the patient's nasal symptoms. The quality of life is considerably affected, compromised, and so it's uh, necessary to have uh, uh, another tool to control the disease while the desensitizing treatment uh, act in the uh, body of the patients. This is my opinion, is the field where cost act um, is main uh, effectiveness uh, role because um, the synthesizing immunotherapy lasts two or three years. So it's a very long period where the patient is uh, uh, not uh, ad adequately controlled in, uh, in uh, his symptoms. And so cause could help in uh, gaining a good and maintaining a good quality uh, of life control of symptoms while the immunotherapy act is uh, uh, crucial and, definite, and definitely effective uh, uh, treatment of the uh, allergic disease. So a very complementary and useful tool. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you for that explanation. And uh, we definitely want to continue following your work. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you again. Uh, a pleasure to be with you uh, as always. Bye-bye. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.